Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to use a different grammar for each segment to create the type of building. To do that, we need to use the floor execution, the floor execution flow data table, and we need to provide each grammar to be used by each segment. For that, we have to create at least two grammar to be selected select your prefab and go to your floor block manager and expand any array and come to floor grammar data table and set the grammar to be used for each floor now we need to create the floor execution flow data data table to be used to select each grammar for the particular segment come to your content browser and create a further labeled floor execution flow list and right click and go to miscellaneous select data table and search for flow and select pbg execution flow list Just give it a name and double click to open it click on the add to add button to add a new row and Come to floor execution and click on the plus sign to add a new a new slot. That is where you write your floor execution grammar. So let's see an example here. We want to create uh, this type of reading. I come to I first come to a floor gamma data table and set uh, the grammar to be used for other side of the building. Here I have three grammar data table. I click on the plus sign to add them. Notice that nothing is still happening. We don't have this type of reading. That is where the flow execution flow come handy. Now we need to give for the first for the first segment we want it to use the first grammar and for the second segment we want it to use this grammar and for the third segment we want it to use this grammar then for the last segment we want it to use the first one so to do that we come to exit text and write our exit text here we start by using to reference any segment we start by using the letter s we write s and uh, followed by the index of the grammar we want to use so s0 then uh, we want uh, to use the second uh, grammar for the second segment so we write s1 then for the third one we want to use uh, the index 2 then s2 and for the last one we want to use s0 then s0 now notice what happened when we set our execution flow list here we can see that now we have this building You can take a look at, at our grammar list. There's nothing really complicated. That is just we just write the grammar as we already seen how to write the grammar for selecting mesh in the floor mesh pp. Now I want you to notice something. You can see that we have uh, index invalid invalid index behavior here what that means is that if you watch a grammar that has and that has an index that is not existent here it will select the valid index you can choose if you want to you want it to select the first index or randomly select from valid index you can use it to create some interesting uh, uh, how to say some interesting uh, randomization 
For example, let's go to invalid index behavior and set it to randomly select from valid index. And uh, for the second segment, let either user and segment that is invalid. For example, seven. You can see here that we don't have a seven indexed. So see what happened here. Now, by clicking on the plus sign, you can add, uh, you can set a different uh, floor execution type for each floor. Click on the plus sign and copy the, la the last index and pass it in the next index. And write the new exit text. For example, set it to S0. S1 and S0. Now we can see that we have a different grammar uh, uses for the second floor. We can do it more. 